Okay, so tell me uh, which one's uh, Ilia? Both. both. We are both, both. Ilia Margarita. Oh, she's both. Morales. And she's Toledo. <laughs> I am the lab director. Okay. I'm the executive director. Okay, understood. So, um, thank you both for making time. I Help me understand what it is that you are doing right now. We are a reference lab in Puerto Rico, the biggest one, and we have a molecular department. So we are a high complexity laboratory as FDA require. So we are following the guidance from the FDA and CDC, and CDC running a protocol for a laboratory development for the COVID-19. Okay, how many tests have you been able to perform right now, even though you're sending them away for, you're sending the samples away for the results? How many have you been able to collect samples? Uh, on Monday, we sent three specimens. Three, Yesterday, three. we sent 10. 10. Today, we sent 16. 16? 16. 16. 16, Okay, yes. and how are you obtaining these samples? Some are from our clients, mostly hospitals, and others are outpatients. Okay, so the client calls you, uh, the, the client be at the hospital in this case, and mm -hmm. says, I have a patient, we want to get them treated. Are they calling you because they are not having success getting the Department of Health to do the testing? That, that, that we don't know, but I think that maybe Department of Health has some issues in, how, in the logistic, how to collect the samples on the island. Oh, yeah, Maybe that's are, why. They have a lab that. who are doing about 50 tests per day. But the problem is the logistic to pick up the samples. The governor, the governor called me yesterday to see if we can help them. To okay. set the, the, sample governor, the, governor, the, the governor called you yesterday. What, yes. did she, what did she ask? She wants to see how we can help them to the logistic to get the samples to the Department of Health lab. Okay. Okay, so health how, can, how can you help them? Maybe she asked for collecting the sample to the patient, but we cannot do that. But maybe we can transport the, the sample for them. With our, we have like uh, 30 carriers around the island every day picking up samples from our clients. So it's easy for me maybe to help her pick up the samples and deliver it to the Department of Health Laboratory. You, you, you have to help me. It's shocking to me that the government needs your help even just picking up samples. I mean, that's... We do that with Zika patients. When we when... have the pandemic situation with Zika, we, do, we help them also. That's, but I mean, it's just shocking. I didn't understand how much they needed. And, and yes. they need something as basic yes. as simply yes. picking up the samples. Yes. Wow. But I am happy because uh, I met with the governor last Saturday. And she's hearing some recommendation from private se sector. So that's good. Well, ladies, I have said, and tell me if I'm wrong, but I have said, just like Maria, when the government didn't act fast enough, both on the local and the federal level, it took private industry to come in and do so much incredible work. Do you both believe, as I do, and tell me if you think I'm wrong, that private labs are going to be crucial here to doing what the government is just simply not able to do. I think they know that because they, uh, in many conference, uh, in uh, conversations, conversations that we had, they they uh, repeatedly said that they need more labs to do the test because they were not going to be able to perform all the volumes that they are expecting. Yes, there is there is many patients or people traveling from Europe, New York. Yesterday we have more than 200 flights. Coming into Puerto Rico. So there are many people coming that maybe infected. I think that maybe a 25% should be infected. All right, so let's help people understand exactly what, what you're doing right now. So you're you're collecting samples and you're sending them off. It takes yes. three to four days. Once you get the data back, do you then call the Department of Health and say, Yes, hey, now I got we have to let them know. Yeah. Now we have before we have to send a fax, but now they let us with an email where we are going to send the information to them. Okay, got it, with an email. Okay, yes. now let's go to the next, I'm sorry. The next, yeah, the next level is gonna be uh, us performing the test here in the lab. That's what I wanna to talk to you about. Okay, 
So if that were to, or when that does happen, you could do results how quickly? Within a matter of hours? Uh, the, the method is it's a like little bit manual. Hours or more. It's a little bit manual. It five could hours be, yes, it's not automated. Mm -hmm. We have an, an instrument from Roche that is automation, but they don't sell the kit yet. To Puerto Rico. Only to the States, and where it really is a, a, a big need. So we are doing the test in three or four hours. They are runs of about 90 tests four. per batch. Okay. And we have so, to let the batch end so that we can enter the other next 90 patients. 90 okay. In a, an eight hour shift, it could be 180 patients. Okay, so you think you could do 180 tests in one shift. In one shift. In one shift, which would be if everything a, runs normal and we don't have any extra uh, issues outside of our hands. And what does the shift go from start to finish? Um, Six thirty a.m. to three three thirty. Okay. And now fine. she's, well, if, she's if working. Were, she's working overtime right now. Yeah. Look, if that were to happen, you would get more done in one day than the government has been able yes. to do since it yes. all started. Okay, I'm sure. gonna I'm gonna let folks understand, uh, let folks watching understand the process by which you need to verify your test. And if I get it wrong, please correct me. So essentially, these um, two ladies have the test, and what they need is positive control, is what it's been explained to me. And what that basically no. means is. They need, they, they need the formula by which it is determined that a test is either positive or negative. And yes. once they get that, they then test it in their lab with a negative and positive test to verify that what they're coming out with is consistent with a test that is already confirmed to be positive and negative. Once they have that confirmation, they know and they let the government know that they're using the right tools, the right methodology, all of that and then you can start testing. Is that correct? Perfectly yes. correct. After we finish Today, our validation process, that that we, we are hoping between uh, today or tomorrow mm -hmm. to finish mm -hmm. it, we will send the information to the FDA, but we can start doing tests even though we don't have the release from the FDA. So we have to add a note on the result that said that the FDA authorization is pending. Okay. So where did you get this methodology from? Like the pot, you, when you say methodology, you're referring to positive control essentially? No, no. no. Methodology is the test. The primers, okay, so the probe, and all the components the that we need to do the test. Where do you get the positive control to confirm that your methodology is accurate? There is a company, uh, the name is BEI Resources. They are the, the the company that is sending the positive control to us. We received it yesterday. Oh, you have it? Yes, yeah. we are running the, the control right now. Okay, this is awesome. Okay. Yeah, today, right. the, this afternoon, we are running the, the dilutions that we need For the to, to the validation. Well, that's interesting because I talked to the Secretary of Health yesterday in Puerto Rico, and she said she didn't have the ability to give you the positive control. Yes, the thing is that the last time that we spoke yesterday, uh, I haven't received it, but I received it on, on the afternoon. Yeah, by so, 4, 4.30, I think the, the controller So arrived. she didn't know yet that we have it. And who gave it to you? BEI Resources from the state. We bought it. We bought it from BEI Resources. Mm -hmm. It's an ITCC. What is ITCC? It's a known organisms. For example, in bacteriology, we use uh, ATCC as control to validate the process on urine cultures and any bacteria. And that's this, the same thing. This, or virus. This is so or virus. fascinating. This is so fascinating. Okay. Yes. So it's complicated. This, <laughs> what did you say? It's complicated. It is complicated, but you ladies yes. have made it to where simple people like me can understand. So within the next 24 to 48 hours, you could have confirmation that the positive control is working with your test. You send it to the CDC, this, I'm sorry, to the FDA. The FDA yes. green lights your ability to test and confirm results in your lab. Yes, yes. it may delay uh, two weeks for the release, but we can, even we can though- 
report test, do even it, though we don't have the green light. light. Uh, we, we need to, um, we don't need to wait for that release to do the test. Mm -hmm. Well, you could be up and running this week. Uh, maybe oh, Monday. This weekend. Friday yeah. or Monday, yes. And to to today, we received from Roche the confirmation that we are receiving three new kits. That that's a big issue also. The kit supply, the reagent supply. Wow. Okay, listen. This is great news. I want to share it with everyone because I want them to know that things are happening outside of the health department, which just seems to be, uh, I don't know, stuck or, or doing their best or whatever. But the bottom line is, this is this is this is a big deal, and I want to share it with people. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Uh, we want um, also to let you know that we are trying to help the people in Puerto Rico and help the health department because we need the test. And the name of your lab is Solido. Laboratorio okay. Clínico Toledo. Well, you can call Toledo Lab or Toledo Reference Lab or Toledo Laboratory. And where are you located? North part of the island, Arecibo. Puerto Arecibo. 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 Yes. Arecibo. You and know where it is? What did what you say? You know where it is? We have an ocean view here. Of if course you want I to visit do. us, you can. Yeah, I've been to Arecibo. I've passed through. I've stopped. Yes. Yeah. Um, we are uh, with an ocean view. Awesome. And my last question is this. Can anyone call your lab and ask for a test? Can If I live in Puerto Rico and I want a test, can I call you and come get a test? Yes. Yes. If you have the symptom, because this test is not for everyone. You have to have fever, uh, cut. You have to have uh, been traveled or something. Any risk, difficult re respiratory difficulty. So if you are in good health, you should not get a test. Understood, because ladies. ladies yes, thank the you. problem is that we have to be cautious. very cautious with the amount of tests released because we know there were, yeah, there were no big re reagents. How many tests are you going to be able to get constantly? That, that we don't know. It all depends on the distribution of, of reagents. Of the reagents. It. Got yeah, it. This and that's wonderful. the same problem that they have in the States. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so how many tests do you have as of right now? Uh, the ones that we're running on the equipment. And we are expecting the kits for tomorrow. There is 96 tests per kit. And we use two controls in every run. It depends if we have to split the run or run the whole 96. It depends how many controls we are going to use in every batch. So you're getting three kits, 96 tests in each kit. Yes, and we have another order place, but I don't know when it's going to be delivered. Okay, so roughly 300. Yes. Again, if you do 100, it'll be more than what the health department has done so yes. far. So, yes. uh, ladies, I thank you both. Thank you. This Pleasure. Has been, this has been very informative, so I'm going to share it with everyone. Thank you very much. Thank yes, you. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye.